Hello, it's me again. Um, so what we've done is we've taken the uh, experiment DIR final folder from the PC that we uh, generated it using the, the transfer learning toolkit uh, tools and I put it in my uh, on my nano. And I pulled it, it, put it in this little section right here, NVIDIA DeepStream, DeepStream 4, Samples, Experiment, DIR Final. And so what, what, what we've done was, I brought it over, plus I added two additional items in there. I put the TLT converter and the readme file from it. So in this is, is all just these folders. So uh, we come over here and we're going to use this to generate the, uh, the TLT. Uh, let's see. So let's see right here we have um, the TLT converter and then this is where it, it's going to get the, the ETLT file. This is my key. Um, and this is uh, where it's going to find the calibration bin. This is uh, output stuff. Uh, uh, what the the input's going to be. And then some batch sizing, and then this is where the uh, um, the model is going to end up at. It's going to end up right back here. ResNet 10 detector TRT. So what we'll do is we run this we'll go like this. And then enter. Oh, by the way, we've I've uh, moved into the folder that contains this, so we can see this. So we'll go ahead and start this. And uh, generally, if it hangs up, it'll hang up. I'll show you where it hangs up at. If it hangs up. For me, if it hangs up, because something I did wrong, usually hangs up right here. So, uh, you know, if we get past this, we're good. So this is going to take about 20 minutes, so I'm going to pause the recording. And when it comes back on, uh, we should have uh, another file in here. So let me just pause this. Okay. Um... So we let that run. It's done. It took about 20 minutes. And what it did, it generated this ResNet 10 detector.trt. So before we um, swap this all over, I'm going to go ahead and run the, uh, uh, the, the cafe model so we can get a comparison of them. So I need to get over to the cafe model. Uh, let's see. Folder. this and then we're going to run let's see this is the one we're going to run display fp16 text one okay so let's do this And then this one's just going to run the uh, the cafe model, ResNet 10 cafe model. See, it's running pretty good. What are we running at? Uh, 42 frames a second. 42. It's not bad. Picking everything up. So that's pretty good. So now we're going to switch it over and run uh, uh, the 
the model that we built with our transfer learning toolkit. So the first thing we do is grab this, copy, and we're going to take it and we're going to do our models, primary detector nano, and we're basically just going to get rid of all this stuff. And then we also need a label fi file. This is the label file we're going to use. There's only three items. Car, cyclist, pedestrian. So we want to copy that. Put that in there. And just to make it easier on me, um, I'm going to copy this. Where'd they go? I don't know what that was all about. Okay. The properties. Catch this copy. Now this is all in the primary primary detector models file. Go to there. That's in there. So then what we do is we go to here. Uh, first we go to the config infer primary nano text. And down here we basically will get rid of everything. Uh, let's see. The model file engine is going to be TRT and we're going to get rid of this. Don't need that. And then the batch size of eight. So we're going to go batch size of one. And this is going to be one because we're into eight now. We have three classes. Let's see what else we got. That's about it for this. Because we got the labels and the detective. So let's save this. And then the next one we got to do is where is it? The close out. So the next one we got to do is the config file. So let's go back to here. This is the one we just did. Make sure. Yep. Save. And then we go down here to our config. I think it's this one. Text one. Let's close that out. Um, we'll leave everything the way it was, but we're going to batch size of one. Uh, then we change this to our other, the new engine. And then we're, this is the same because we modified this file. Other than that, let's see, we go. Let's change that to one. And other than that, I think we're good. So we'll save that. And then let's close that. And now we'll run it again. And we'll see what happens. This is the one last time it ran with the...
cafe model. Now it's running with the TRT model. So here we go. It's slower. It's running eight frames a second. So I think we could speed that up. Let's see how we speed that up. Let's see if we can. Let's, uh, one. Let's try raising our batch size up. Eight. This is really long. Eight. Eight. Let's try that. Well, that's not any better. So let's try something else. I might have to go back into the model and re, re redo it in there. Our batch size of four. There we go. So now we're running 33, so that's not that bad. That's what I kind of expected it from it, so. That's not bad, not bad, so. Um, some tweaking, you could probably get it to go faster, but, you know, I'm good, so. Well, I hope that helps everybody out. Um, you know, uh, everybody learns differently, so, you know, I put this out here, and then, uh, if you want to make your own, uh, um, uh, 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 your own data sets, I'll put a link to that, some tools, how to make your own data sets. So, all right. Thanks a lot. Bye.